Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Code Java. We are on to our third batsman problem. Now the problem was to create a class named batsman which represents the batting statistics of a player in IPL 2016. So, so far we have seen how to create a class and also how to add getter setters and constructors to our class. Now in this problem, we'll see how to add an ID to the class that uniquely identifies each object of the class. So let's say we have a class employee. Now each employee of a company would have a unique email ID. There can be two persons with the same name, but there cannot be two persons with the same ID. So similarly, in the batsman class, there could be two batsmen with the same name, but there should not be two batsmen with the same ID. So how do we implement this unique ID generation? We'll see in this video. So here as you see, I have downloaded the template code and we have the class that we created in our previous program, Batsman, with the constructors and all the getters and setters in place. Also in the main, we have created a Batsman object, which we have initialized with a few details and we are printing all those details on the screen. And another object we have created, Batsman2, again, printing all the details on the screen. Now, this batsman1 and batsman2 as of now have no ID that would be generated that will distinguish between both of them. So, we'll see how we do that. Now, in the class batsman, along with all the variables that have already been created, we add a static int ID generator. Now, what this static variable does is, it has only one copy of this variable all through the batsman classes. So let's say you start uh, initialize a static ID to one and you create an object. So the object would have ID value as one. Now when you create another object of the same class, it will be incremented by one or by 10, whatever condition you specify to generate a new unique ID for the second object. So let's say we create a ID variable here. All right. Also, we have static int ID generator. All right. This let's say we initialize to 1000. Okay, now since we have created two more attributes to the class, we should also be having these in our constructors. So if you call your default constructor, ID should be initialized here. So plus plus will pre-increment the ID generator. Similarly, if you call the other constructor, so here also we say id equals to pre-increment id generator. So we add in both our constructor. Also, we create a getter for this id. So we go back to source, generate getters and setters. Here, you just say so this is showing you both getter and the setter get id is the getter set id is the setter but we don't need set id as we are doing a pre-increment in both the constructors so we just add a get id so that is added here now as you saw this getter is added right under this id now if you don't want this what you have to do is just i'm removing it to show it to you again Place your cursor at the point where you want to be added. So let's say we want our getter to be added at the end here. Now go back to the source. Generate getters and setters. ID. Select that we want only getter. And OK. So wherever you place your cursor, there only your getters and setters get added. Now finally, let's do a printout of the ID to see what values we'll get. 
get id similarly for the batsman 2 object let's save and run check what output we get so the first id since we initialized with 1000 the first id generated is by pre-incrementing the static variable id so 1001 and the second id is now adding one to the previous id 1002 so this static variable you can initialize to whatever value you want to start your id generation with let's say you want to start your id generation with one so you initialize it to zero now we'll run it again so this time virat kohli is id number one ab is id number two thank you for watching the video guys happy coding